Hi folks, welcome back again to another 6th edition battle report. So after the failed attempt for the Skaven to take the Watchtower, they ended up hanging around too long and the Lizardman main army turns up. So in this scenario we are playing the last stand, in which case half the amount of points of Skaven are up against the Lizardman. So we have 1400 points of uh, Lizardman against 700 points of Skaven. And uh, the Skaven basically have to do as much damage as uh, as points as they are so you've got to try and do 700 points of damage against me and I have to do I think half the point I've got to destroy them with only taking like half their points so I, I can't lose more than 350 um, from from the actual battle itself uh, so we'll have a quick look and see what's in the forces so for the Skaven 700 odd points he's got I believe one or two chieftains um, I think it could be two chieftains. No, no, I think it actually could be one chieftain. Um, he's got three lots of clan rats, uh, either with spear shield, sword and shield, and two rattling guns. He's been really desperate to try out the rattling guns um, for a while, uh, back in the old walls, where they could be extremely deadly. And I know my skink skirmishers will be trying the best to avoid them. Uh, sorry for the blurry. Uh, so on one flank, I have some skink skirmishers at the top. Saurus warriors with hand weapon and shield, and another bunch of Saurus warriors with hand weapon and shield. So I basically get to deploy 24 inches away, which actually, on a six foot table, doesn't leave you a lot of space considering they have an 18 inch bubble in the middle, and they all have to be facing the same way. Um, so yeah, that that is a bit. I think it's more designed for an eight foot table, uh, the old school style. Um, but yeah, I managed to get them on. Just had to drop my ranks down to uh, three. Um, they'll move up if, shortly and uh, reform for a turn, uh, just to gain me some distance. And on the other side, I have a bunch of Saurus with spears, uh, my shaman, and some more skink skirmishers, and um, a salamander. I mean, he's got no crew. I know you normally have crew with these guys. I'll mark them down if they die. Um, but I actually only used him, used him generally for a roleplay uh, game I was doing and only just happened to be carrying him and I only did as many, grab as many points as I could and he was painted so uh, he came and joined in and there will be a croxicles also dropping down on this side um, I nearly forgot about them and I was thinking my force looked quite small so I rolled up for spells and I get the second side of Amul and Run Thunderbolt I believe uh, so this is the setup, <laughs> so not an easy thing to try and get everything in the shop, and to see my croc scores are now down. Um, I believe the ambushers get first turn, uh, I'm not positive, but anyway, after the both players' turns, the rats decide they're going to take on the croc score side of the field, uh, turn their chaps and start marching down this way, which means my guys on the far side of the table have a long way to march to catch back up. Um, but I should have enough here to do some damage. My primary objective would be to get rid of those um, bloody rattling guns. Um, but for that, I have got Urn Thunderbolt and I've got some Skink Skirmishes. I just have to be very careful of the range. <laughs> so my first opponent's first round of shooting, yeah. Uh, <laughs> rolls a five, and then he says, well, I can't roll another five, and rolls another five. So the first little chap detonates. Um, no panic is caused by anyone uh, due to the fact in this mission, the defender uh, doesn't suffer from, from panic, so uh, this will keep the rats going a bit longer. So the rat down the bottom has the rat chieftain in it, and that's going to come around to swing and take on the crocs scores. While the two units at the top, it's going to have it go at my um, spearman that also has my Saurus champion in it. And this is how we're looking. Uh, my turn, yeah, I just move my guys ready to counter charge. I'm going to get some shots on with my skink skirmishers and my uh what's it called salamander and uh my by the way the uh, i have got managed to get spill off or thunderbolt and i'm actually trying to take out a couple of ranks because with a couple of ranks gone i know i can charge in here with my croc scores and do some serious damage in my opponent's turn yet again um he fires with the other rattling gun uh, to has a gutmosaurus and uh, uh yeah he rolls a four one and i believe another four um so, ouch, yep, that he spins, I believe, on this one. Yeah, so he spins and ends up firing into his own unit. <laughs> Does that many casualties. So, yeah, that's nine shots into his own unit. So, he's not doing very well. Uh, this the uh, My opponent normally plays P Pestilence. Um, so, I have a feeling I might see some more monks in the future as these guys are dropped out. So on this side, this is how things are looking. You see, uh, they actually got a failed charge against my um, Croc scores. 
and just moved up as you can see I've moved up just to pin them in so they can't go charging after my salamander or anything and my uh, skirmishers come round I, I didn't charge over my crocs because I thought another round of shooting uh, should do some damage to them and my source at the top just goes in and uh, covers in that uh, little area there that's just past the impassable so the two units shouldn't be able to get to them too badly so with the help of the skinks and the uh, salamana I fry a few more of these guys get rid of some ranks uh, I have a good chance now if I can charge in to uh, beat these guys up so in the following turn they decide that's enough enough and uh, they charge in and uh, yeah I don't mind this um, you know they haven't got many attacks they can't use the spears in the first round of combat uh, the only one I'm worried about is the uh, boss who I believe whiffs anyway uh, apologies to the Bullery. So yeah, on the other side, my Saurus uh, Spearman, uh, the Rattling Gun finally gets its game together and opens fire and takes down four of these guys. Uh, in the combat, I decide, you know what, I'll put uh, just one of my Croxagors on to attack his Chieftain and actually manage to brain him. And then my other ones attack the unit and manage to kill another what, one, two, three, four. So that's, <laughs> that's not bad. A Chieftain and four rats out of nine attacks. Uh, that's, yep, I'm chuffed with that. And I think uh, they managed to get two wounds through on me, so they didn't actually quite manage to kill off a croxicle. Uh The remainders run away, uh, and I'm un unable to catch them. Uh, just, you know, normal stuff like rats get plus one to their flea, because they're cowardly in that. But in my following turn, I declare charge at them again. They have to flee. I run them down. Uh, I go forward because I decided I didn't want to get shot anymore and try and hammer these guys and uh, break through them and overrun into that little rattling gun. Uh, but it doesn't quite go like that. I only managed to kill a few off and uh, I don't know, I might have actually lost the combat or, or at least it was low enough that he actually passed and stood. Which now means I'm going to be getting a flank charge from the other rats. And back in 6th edition, flank chargers are a real nightmare. I can't just turn to face them, um, I believe. It's uh, literally, you've got to stand and fight until you either get help to you or you break. Um, it's a bit like War and Conquest. Um, I don't believe you can reform in that either. So yeah, being flanked in this is a nightmare. Not only that, you also need a panic check um, if you're charged into the flank while already engaged in combat. Uh, so that's another reason, again, that uh, things get a lot more difficult. So as you can see here, yep, they made a successful charge into the flank of my guys, and thankfully with my leadership 8 and uh, cold-blooded, I managed to pass my uh, 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 leadership chest, sorry, so many games, bravery, courage, yeah, leadership check, and stay in the fight. Uh, unfortunately, my opponent managed to roll a double and two dies again, and uh, spins around and fires behind him. In the combat, I absolutely go to town on the guys in front of him. I say I've got my chief in the front there. He's got the sword of might, so he's up with uh, four strength, five attacks, and that um, no, sword of might's four strength, six attacks, and yeah, they really blitz the front and don't do much on the flank, unfortunately. Uh, so without the extra rank and their low leadership, the guys at the front fail and flee. Um, but yeah, damn it, the guys, thanks to their extra rank bonus, has actually just managed to pass. Um, they lost by a lot, and there's no impossible stay, you know, the double one thing to stay and fight. So it's a bit demoralising, but as you can see, the rest of my army is now moving in for the kill. So my turn, I move my hero into the uh, combat to the flank, so I can move along the front into the fight. Um, I believe in 6th edition you can't actually move him to anywhere, um, he still has to stay in the front, so at least then I can uh, move him across uh, to be able to fight. Uh, but even still, uh, I think I lose this combat, but manage to hold, because uh, I'm not getting any ranks, he's got a couple of ranks, he's got number, he's got, uh, we both got a banner, and he's got the flank, so it's a hard fight, I'm relying on my hero and one Saurus to do enough damage to get through. Um, my salamander opens fire just to kill some more of these guys off because I thought, you know, at 25% you can't rally. Um, but actually we looked through it 
and I couldn't find it. Uh, I thought it might have been like a 7th edition and beyond rule, uh, unless someone can tell me otherwise, or knows where that rule is. Um, but I couldn't see it when we flick through the book that you can't rally it 25% or less. So, oh well, uh, but I did manage to shoot a few more off with my Sally. Ah, the damn combat. Uh, yeah, that was annoying. He's, he's got a space free in the middle because he lost his champion. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't do enough to counteract the fact that the numbers and ranks and flank. Um, and I eventually just passed, failed, I failed my uh, leadership check and broke. And that was a lot of points there, uh, unfortunately. Uh, that was a killer because that's my hero and uh, good sized unit of spearmen. And his turn, he then charged my. Uh, skink Shaman who fled. <laughs> uh, I thought that's relatively safe. And I'm a leadership bot five, but on three dice. Uh, no, he ends up running off the table. So I've now lost my Skink Shaman as well. So I end up lining up my firing line, get as many shots on as I can, and uh, ready for my secondary unit to come in and thump them. While my other units just chase off those other Skaven before they can rally. Um, Skaven, <laughs> goddamn, they flee again but manage to stay just on the board but uh, at least for next turn I'm now set up to be able to charge them with my skinks and chase them off permanently. Back into my opponent's turn, he, he declares a charge against my skinks and skirmishers I decide not to give away any more points so I just fled with them and you know what, they don't rally <laughs> and they flee off the table as well uh, shortly uh, but it does give me another round of uh, shooting and I'll get my proxes up to uh, do some damage. Yeah, so my turn. I chase these guys off. These guys fail to rally and flee themselves off. Uh, he the, I then move my guy up, ready to charge. In his turn, he fails to charge my um, my big guys. They charge in and just hammer the snot out of the uh, remaining clan rats and finally defeat them. Um, and then with that, that was the end of the game. And uh, we totted up the score, and I think he scored something like 500 odd points, which meant the game was a draw. Uh, so that was fair enough. And we added up the points for the campaign, because this was the last game of the three game campaign, and it was a draw. So overall, it was um, even Stevens. The uh, Skaven didn't gain any more territory. Uh, we didn't lose any more territory, but we all lost casualties in the, uh, in the battle there. Um, so it was good fun. Um, the General's Companion is a good laugh. I think we'll be doing some more small scenarios. And I might try and dig up the uh, Warhammer Warbands, which is kind of like the small scale version of playing Warhammer for like two to 500 points. Um, but what you do is, uh, it's still with units and stuff, but it has kind of like the uh, smaller scale rules. So you don't have to have so many heroes or, or any heroes to start with. But it's not like the skirmish games. So there's no, uh, in, you know, not everyone's individual. So it's kind of good fun um, and it's a good way to get us started and get us back into uh, playing some more Warhammer. So all right, guys, um, just a quick shout out. If there's anyone in the North Cornwall area of the UK, and um, fancy game, the Dice and Dagger is up there, and that's my regular hideout. And uh, we play up there roughly once every two weeks. Uh, you can probably find it on Facebook, the Dice and Dagger Gaming Club. Um, I'm always looking after, out for more. I've managed to get hold of some guys that are down in Exeter, some guys in in Plymouth. Uh, if we get enough of us together, I'd like to do like a little tournament. Um, down here in the southwest, well, in the in the west southwest, as it is, we seem to be miles from everyone else. Um, if anyone's up for that, and you're from that kind of area, and you'd be interested in coming down for a tournament, uh, say it'll be in North Cornwall, the event will be held. Um, we're about an hour from all the major cities. Um, unfortunately, we are in an area which doesn't have trains. Um, good old Bude, I think, is the furthest place in the in England away from a uh, a railway. So <laughs> it says a lot, considering you know. We're in sunny Cornwall. All right then, guys. I shall see you on the next one. And uh, take care of yourselves. All right. That well us.